guys and welcome to Red's Effects episode 1. The premiere of my brand new show which I teach you guys all sorts of effects and tutorials in Hitman 4 Express. That actually arrived. And since this is the premiere, the pilot, the first episode, I thought I'd, you know, get a bit fancy. Anyway, for my very first episode, we'll be tackling an effect that is actually a full-on job. In Hollywood, every film is appointed a colorist or a few colorists to color the film and make sure it looks all pretty. And that is the effect we're tackling today, color correction and color grading in Hit Film 4 Express. And a lot of people find this difficult and a lot of people find this very easy. It all depends on you, really. So once you get the basics down, you'll be able to start pushing the limits and eventually become a full-on colorist yourself, right in your basement, like that guy over there. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using this clip from my brand new short film, Fragments, which is on my channel right now. If you haven't seen Fragments yet, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but um, go to the channel and watch it. It's right there. It's free. It's amazing. It's fun. I, 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 I like it a lot. Anyway, let's jump straight into Hit Film so I can show you how the color grade and how it's all done. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm here in Hit Film 4 Express, and I have my clip over here set up in a composite chart just waiting to be tweaked. So, let's start with step one. I'll click this plus icon down here and select the new grade layer. This allows us to apply all of our color effects to a transparent layer that affects all the clips and layers beneath it instead of applying the same effect to every single clip in our timeline. Right, I'll head up to the effects panel, color correction, and drag the curves effect onto my grade layer. Now I'll expand the options and change some settings. This is going to be different for you and depends on the clip you have to edit because every clip's color scheme is completely different. So instead of giving you exact numbers to enter in, I'll show you the basic principles of these effects so you can alter them, modify them, and apply them to your own clips. So if you notice the color here of the clip, you'll see that it has a bit of a bluish green tint. That's where curves comes in. So I'll head to the blue channel and start pulling it down until I see something that looks appealing. This is all up to you guys. When you like what you see, that means it's done. Now it still has a green tint, so I'll head to the green channel and pull that down a bit. Now this introduces some red, so I'll go to the red channel and do the same there. Now that we've curved this sucker, I'll apply my next effect. So I'll go back to the effects panel and select the hue, saturation and lightness. Apply that and let's twist those numbers around. I'll click on master and increase the saturation to a point that suits the shot. That looks about right. Now I'll head back up and grab the color temperature effect and apply it. As always, let's customize the son of a gun. This effect is used to either pull the slider right to cool off your shot and introduce some blue into the color or pull the slider left to add more of a Tuscan color scheme and therefore warming up the shot. Since I want the shot to be warmer than it is now, I'll slide that sucker to the left until I'm happy with it. This seems good. Now guys, our final effect and this is all done. For some grading and personal touch, I'll head up and select the brightness and contrast effect. Now. I'll increase the contrast slider to a point where all the blacks become darker while at the same time retaining the detail in the image. I'll then increase the brightness so as to brighten up the shot. Then I'll add a bit more contrast since we have more room to work with now. And we're all done. Let's shut the eye off and see a before and after. As you can see there's a pretty big difference and it didn't take much. Once you understand the basics you can start applying your own personal feel to your color grades and from there the possibilities are endless. It's all up to you guys. And there you have it guys, color grading and color correction for Hitfilm 4 Express. It's really simple and once you get the basics down, you can start extending your skills and eventually become a full-on colorist yourself. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any particular effects you want me to cover, leave it down in the comments below. You can also like and share the video down below. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing content like Red's Effects, The Red Alert Show, all amazing stuff coming up soon. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.